here tonight. Several parents say the classes on race and inclusion will not benefit their children, but instead divide them. Fox 5's Clara Benitez spoke to concerned parents who rallied tonight and has the district's response as well. Clara. Kathleen, good evening. Parents say the district didn't include them in creating these courses, but the district says that they have been having discussion on racial and inclusion for these courses for months now. Now, these classes were approved last year, and high school students will be able to take them as an elective next school year. Community members rallied outside the Poway Unified School District Thursday in opposition to two new courses the district approved last year. The actual ethnic studies courses and ethnic literature courses are not on the agenda. But the topic resurfaced. Parents and students voicing their opinion during public comment. For the sake of our students, especially our students of color, I urge the board to one, reject this ideologically based curriculum, knowing that it is based in the power politics of Malcolm X. Retired Poway teacher Sophie Bartlett says she's concerned with the curriculum and says it will lead to racism instead of education. They come to school to learn and get an education for reading, writing, sports, what they're going to become, social skills, you know, all of that. But to start focusing on race is a, a concern of mine. But the district says these courses are not the same as critical race theory, which parents are claiming. There is no critical race theory being taught as part of the curriculum here at Poway Unified School District. There's no blame or shame as some of the uh, people are concerned about. Zi Ying's daughter is a student at Poway High School. She says she isn't opposed to students learning the history of other cultures, but it's how they are taught that concerns her. I want my kids to be taught honestly about what things happened and let them to um, let the kids to think about it. Do not, uh, you know, just uh, lead them into some distorted um, conclusions. Another concern from parents that was that this was going to be taught in elementary schools, but it's only going to be taught to high school students. Elementary students do have an anti-bullying course, but again, that's only for elementary school students. Live in Poway, Clara Benitez, Fox 5 News.